What's going on guys? Welcome back. Subscribe. I had that thing come up. Also, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on the B7 Performance um, website. I've been getting a ton of orders this week. A lot more than usual. So, for everyone that's gone and ordered, thank you very much. If you haven't already, go check out now. Code B75 says so they're 5% off and you get a free lanyard of every order. Now, anyway, enough of that. Today, people were saying this straight off the bat when I bought this car. It's one of them things you need as soon as you buy a new car, especially an expensive car, you want peace of mind. So, what I've now got installed is a ghost immobilizer by the guys over at Auto Communications. So, massive shout out to them guys. Top link in the description. Check them out. I'm going to show you what they've done to my car. I didn't show the installation just because you don't want to show any of that. And I don't know where they've installed it or whatever. I left them to it. But they've explained how it all works and show me what uh, what it can do. And we're also going to have them listed on the website soon as well. So if later on, in probably the next month or so, we're going to have a bunch of like security stuff on there as well, which is always good. But yeah, so the car is as it is normal. So let's, let's pretend we're just strolling up to the car. Just... Get the day out. Bam! I get robbed. Thief jumps in car. Thinks, "Fuck this kid! I'm, I'm Nick's car." So he gets in it. Right? And he's like, "Oh yeah!" He's got a cactus and a Voss water. He knows style. Yeah. Starts car. Sick. I'm and up. Watch and learn. Drive. Immobilized. You are getting no. Ran out of storage on the iPhone because obviously I still didn't get the camera repaired. But yeah, you get the point. They get in it, no matter what, they've got the key or whatever, the car is going nowhere. It's mobilized, you ain't going nowhere, mate. And there is also some extra little tracking features got installed. But I'm not going to talk about them or say what they are because that's for my personal needs. So the way this pretty much works is I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with Ghost. You have to, you set your own code, you don't tell anyone the code. And then when you press that code in, the car will then start. So, say I go to turn it on now, it, it won't let me start the car at all. I can't start it, look. Foot's down, like it won't turn on, all right? So you have to turn it off, reset it, put ignition on, enter your code, and then starts. Obviously, I didn't show you the code because I don't need to steal my car. But you get the point. I'll turn it off. But without that code, that car is not starting. It's not going nowhere. No, as soon as it starts that first time and stops it, it won't work. Also, there is a service mode, so I can set it into service mode. Say, taking the car to the body shop, going to the garage, and I don't want to tell them my code. I want them to drive out. You can go into service mode. You can drive it. Uh, but you can only drive it for like 15 minutes. If you're driving it over 15 minutes, the car will stop. Like you can't move the car, you can't do nothing. Just like I just showed you, it's sick. It is the perfect peace of mind. And also you can ring up your insurance company and tell them you've got that and it'll probably lower your insurance rate a bit. I don't know, it depends who you're with. But it's one of the definite perks of having one of these security systems that like you don't have to worry. You don't have to have a shitty big disc lock on your car and every time you put it down, it scratches up your interior and knocks it about. Because I had it on the RS, ruined the inside of my car because of the disc lock. And it's just an eyesore as it is. So yeah, that is literally what this does. Obviously, I don't want to go into too much detail about it, but if someone said they could just research it and find out more, just because it's peace of mind and that. But everyone said, when I bought this car, make sure you get this, make sure you get that. And I never really worry about security stuff because I've got like... CCTV on my car, it's recognisable, I don't really worry about my car's been stolen, but with this, this is like the best car I've ever owned, it's my pride and joy, you'd you'd protect it as it, like the same way you'd protect your house, you know what I mean, you pay it once and it's done, right, the security system's installed, it's not, ex not too expensive, it's definitely worth it, you pay like £100 for a disc lock, you pay a bit more, I think it's about £450 and you can have something with peace of mind, don't have to unbolt it and stuff. You have to remember the code to do every time, but it's so much better, so much nicer and cleaner. There's no drilling and cutting, like the amount of Fiestas I see and focuses and I've got in and they've got the Viper alarms and they've like drill a, drilled a hole in their dashboard and you have to stick a probe in to like activate it. They're shit as they are and it's just not good. Like, I much prefer alarms just like this, where, not an alarm, obviously it's not an alarm, it's a mobiliser, but something, it's out of sight, 
you don't see it, but you know it's there. You know you have the security of that. And like, it, it just makes you be able to sleep better at night because you know they ain't getting nowhere. Like they are, no matter what, uh, my car is safe now. And that, that is always like your top priority. So guys, it has now been like just probably about a week since I've had the like a mobilizer and that fitted. It's a Ghost 2. And um, the one thing I've definitely noticed when you jump in and out of your car and like a petrol station or something, you always forget to put the code in and you're like, shit. But it is good that you have it because the amount of more peace of mind I now have since having it is so good. Because I, I can literally just, I feel comfortable leaving my car anywhere I go and I'm like, well, I know it's not meant to go anywhere because it's got, it goes to a mobilizer in it. I like, no worries now, which is obviously a lot nicer weight to have lifted off your shoulders. Um, I still need to ring my insurance to see if I can get it um, like down a bit in price because it should work. It is like an improved alarm system, so that's always sick as well. But yeah, apart from that, so I'm going to wrap up the whole alarm system part of the video here. So massive shout out to them guys for coming out and sorting it out. I'll have it linked down below and on the screen everything you need to know of where to go to grab one for yourself I do highly recommend it because the peace of mind it gives you it's like you wouldn't want to live in a house with no door locks on would you or an alarm system whatever so it's, it's just that extra bit of security that you need really perfect vans just blocking your carriageway you love that but yeah apart from that um, I've been looking into what more modifications to do to the M4 because I've been doing tons on the EST recently as you've seen from the videos um, and that is almost wrapped up and complete to be back on the road obviously like the build's not complete but the wrap and the wide body kit is literally just there now um, just like tweaking some bits in it so hopefully that should be all sorted very soon so I'm thinking more M4 stuff now I'm thinking carbon messaging you guys about alpha performance about getting some more exterior and interior carbon to give it that sort of like OEM plus look but I also want to get some sort of as bonus to it very soon but it's just finding the right style also um, in a video coming up before this I'm not sure I would have mentioned about potentially wrapping this if I did I want to know what colour you guys would like to see because it's definitely something I've looked into and as of recent events um, I feel like I might as well do it but um, I don't want to spoil a video, so I'm not going to say too much about that at the moment. Oh my god, the amount of leaves here. Um, so yeah, apart from that, guys, like the M4, it just needs some, maybe like an intake, uh, the boost pipes and that. I know Ed's and most will just put out some like hot side boost pipes for this. I might try to get my hands on, because um just want to see how fast we can make it go and also we have a dyno video coming later this week so that'll be good because it's not been on dyno yet a lot of people have been asking about what it made on dyno and it didn't get on dyno because i've haven't got one yet it's been built so i'm going down to get this dyno so we can actually see the pure power and i believe there should be some other m cars there while i'm there so it'd be cool to see what they're running compared to me vice versa and what they're running on their cars but um thank you all so much for watching um, make sure, like I said, to go check out all that security stuff. Let me know what you want to see happen to the M4 or the Fiesta ST for that matter as well. Obviously, I want to get as much done as I can, but it's finding that balance of what to and what not to do to make it a cool car, but not overdo it on the mods to make it not look good anymore. So, yeah, check out BSM Forms as well while you're at it because, you know, you want to do me a favour. Get a sun strip there on sale. I only have like two sun strips left, and I believe they're like 15 pounds. If you go check them out right now, I'd recommend it because you get a free land as well. So, oh, you are grabbing yourself a bargain, boys. So, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment below, subscribe, check out the Patreon, follow on the other social medias, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Also, Excuse the shit quality, but this is what you when you buy like a grand's worth of MacBook, MacBook Pros, this is how the camera footage comes out. I just want to quickly add on that I've actually put like a thing on my B7 performance wrong side, it's like flipped from what I'm seeing. Um, the B7 performance Instagram about we're looking for sponsors. So if you've got a cool car, you've got a decent ish follow on Instagram, don't have to have a massive follow as long as you've got a cool car, pretty much. Um, drop us a message 
on that page and we're filtering for them and uh, you get like you'll see what you get when you're on there you get like exclusive discounts and this sort of stuff so if you're interested please just go over to the instagram drop us a message and we'll see what we can do for you also we have gloss black mirror cuts for fiesta mark 7 up for like 25 pound which is a really good deal a lot of people have been grabbing them so grab them as well on the b7 performance website fiesta mark 7 uh all the ranges of them sick see you next one peace